The evaluation of the Bonapache method, a specific educational intervention to reduce pain during childbirth. Although pain during childbirth is not usually associated to tissue damage, it is very intense. It comprises of at least two components, pain intensity and pain unpleasantness. Options to reduce pain are pharmacologic, but have higher medical interventions, and non-pharmacologic, which show inconclusive or conflicting results. The aim of this multi-center control study is to measure the effects on pain perception during labor and delivery of the Bonapache method, which specifically addresses pain modulation techniques compared to traditional childbirth training programs. The Bonapache method is based on three endogenous mechanisms. The first is the central nervous system control, which comprises breathing, relaxation, and mostly deviation of attention. It modulates pain unpleasantness mostly. The gait control theory is light massage and ambulation, and this is a light massage of the painful areas. This is a blockage of part of the message in the spine. It modulates mostly pain intensity. The third mechanism is a diffuse noxious inhibitory control, also known as the DENIC system. The DENIC system consists of creating a second pain anywhere in the body. This mostly modulates pain intensity. So what happens when you create the second pain, the signal goes to the brain. The brain wants to attract attention and understand what the nature of the second pain is, releases endorphins all over the body, except in the zone where we create the second pain. So we teach parents, the father especially, how to activate this mechanism through painful massage in acupressure points in the lower back, in the hand and the foot and elsewhere. The methodology of this study consists of women who evaluated their pain every 15 minutes during all phases of labor and delivery. The two groups were the Bonapache method, which was eight hours of training, specifically on modulating pain, and traditional childbirth training programs, which were mostly, which consisted mostly of information on childbirth and on delivery. The results are a reduction of both pain intensity and pain unpleasantness of 45 and 46 percent. And this reduction is present during all phases of labor and delivery for pain intensity and the last three phases of labor and delivery for pain unpleasantness. This shows that non-pharmacologic approaches to reduce pain work. They reduce both intensity and unpleasantness of pain at a level that is probably tolerable to most women. Future research should include randomized controlled trials that evaluate not only pain intensity and unpleasantness, but also um, different obstetrical outcomes. Thank you.